it's me again, T Ball Maniac. And what I have dear here. Go down. What I have here is uh, my Thunderbolt chopper on a notebook so the paint doesn't get any more scratched than it is. And now I have I hooked it up through the brushes to then on my variac over here, which is a small variac I know. I didn't have a whole lot of money. Three amp variac and running off a of 120. I'm not going to take it up all the way, but I'm just, I was experimenting, so this is just a filler video until um, the special that I have coming up comes around, and maybe some other videos of miscellaneous sirens that I get. So, gauge power, I won't bring it up all the way just because my neighbors are right behind, about 40, 50 feet behind me over this wall in front of me, and then... If I do, I don't want the police call or any alert drawn because I usually sound in the front where it's a more open space than in the back. So I'll probably bring it up to about 60 volts max, about half of what I'd usually do on 120. So here we go. And I know this makes a weird noise. If any of you could help me diagnose what that noise was, here I'll do it again. Can you come in closer so they can hear? Not zoom, but just come in closer. Just if you can tell what this noise is. Yeah, what that startup noise is. Yeah, if you could help me on that, that'd be great because I have a whole story behind this. Yeah, this is also a diagnostic video because what I have in here is there's most likely there's most likely just a some sort of problem in here. I know the brushes are vibrating. I need to get a whole set of new brushes. If anyone could help me out with that by um, helping me just get a new set of brushes, give me a list of hardware that I need because I need bolts for the rotator. And if anyone has information about um, some gaskets for the between the chopper and the solenoid bar and then the solenoid bar and the horn so I need a bunch of gaskets and then the one that's in between the standpipe and the horn I need gaskets for that and then um, if someone could help me find brushes give me some information on that because I know federal makes them but I kind of well, I need a more place where I need a better place because federal is sometimes slow but um, that and then I'll probably just get this all repainted. I'll get sheet metal done because there's scratches on this guy and I want it to look good again. There's a powder coating place nearby me. And then um, I'll have this, I'll probably just make it look brand new again. The rotator got a little bit banged up. Not a whole lot. There's a whole story behind that. But I'm just looking for uh, gaskets of any kind, hardware for the the blower, the stamp pipe, the U-bolt. If someone could give me some tips on how to put the um, the L angle pipe and then the stamp pipe in and get it correctly to where I could get the uh, the U-bolt in and it'll fit correctly. Because I had trouble with that when I tried to assemble this before. And then if someone could help diagnose this problem. Just, so I'm, even though I know a whole lot about this, I've never, this is my first Thunderbolt, my first real big, big siren, besides 3T22, but 
Hey, being professional means can't always be professional. Have, can't always have the big stuff and not know everything about it. But so that's why I've, you guys help me out. So and then if and then uh, oh yeah, and then I'm probably gonna need help on my 3T22 when I get that running. So stay tuned for that during this summer. So see you later.